from there? I don't know. Yes, we are live, it says. Okay. We, well, first off, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We appreciate everybody for sticking around. It's been uh, two weeks since Jack and I have been live. So, uh, yes. Dose. It's been, been dose days. Dose days. Let me um get this and copy it, and we'll put that in the Discord as well. Uh, we'll put this in the live chat. We are live. Right. It's actually been a while since Jack and I have hopped on and talked too. I have been out. I went to, uh, like I mentioned this on a podcast, I went to Vegas to go do the Fallout Day thing where they had like in Good Springs. But the game takes place, so I did that for a weekend, and I was gone. Yeah. Got some cool stuff, though. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, did you get anything cool? Yeah, I got... Um, so, it's, the game takes place in Vegas, so they do have, they have a casinos in-game. And some professional casino company made, like, professional like chips based on the casinos in-game, so... I got some like professionally done chip that looks really cool. I got, um, I you know what Omega Mart is in Vegas? I do. I went to that too. I got like a cow hat with like the like, long cow. I saw some pretty cool stuff there, so I I, I got some cool stuff. Okay. It's not Star Wars related, but it's cool. So it's actually it's hard to explain the art, Omega Mart what it is, but it's it's pretty good. They had like three DJs and like three bars and like a barcade there. So. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Did you go to stuff. Torg at all or anything else? No, I did not. I did have some other things. I don't understand why nobody's chat is showing up on YouTube. I can see Ryan Martin said, let's go. I see that. Let me refresh. Can Maybe I refresh? you're the wrong one like I was. Are you in the Halloween one? Shouldn't be. Hey, Ryan. Hey, there Chilling. we go. Yeah, weird. I just refreshed it. Hello, Ryan. Cool. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with jambalaya. All right. Jambalaya. What Billy said something like that. Billy. <laughs> yeah, jambalaya. jambalaya. Okay. So we are back. It's been a while. <laughs> Appreciate everybody for sticking with us. Um, we reached 300 subscriber milestones, so thanks everyone there. Um, what do you mean? Come on, Holden. Uh, see, I'm the only one chatting with our chat. Mm -hmm. I'm the yeah. uh, the real true McClunky cast. Hey, hey, hey. Do you have this? No. <laughs> Ryan got me my this. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I got this. Ryan Gov was the one that got me this. I got chopper. Bro, do it. Do a little. Do it. No, you can't no. like hear it. No, rub his head like a bunch real quick. He just like, walk, 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 walk. You know, nobody can hear that. He's, that's but, what he's doing. But yeah, it's, it's no way my mic doesn't pick it up in Discord because Discord like filters that out. So yeah. How is everybody's got a, day? How is everybody's got a jelly bean? <laughs> how is everybody's uh, Saturday evening? How is everybody? Oh, Jar Jar's in chat. Jar Jar's. People be chilling on the weekend, man. About to be Thanksgiving next week. True, true. It's about next to be Thursday. Thanksgiving. Everyone, anyone doing anything fun? Going to see family? Nice throw, dude. Uh, did you see the first one, too? I miss, missed it the first time as well. Uh, he's a twofer. <clears throat> Two-time goat of dropping my mint. Yeah. Yeah. It's like these sour mints are like candy. They're good. Yeah. But Thanksgiving, and then December, which is GalaxyCon. Yeah. Very close. A couple weeks from now. 
I can't believe it's already that close. It's two weeks out. Yeah, it's about to start. I are you excited? Like, I, sorry guys, this is then, kinda, we mean Jack are just like really excited about this. I mean, we're gonna go around. We got press badges. We're gonna go around as press, press, press. Go around as press, as in we get no special privileges, but it's free to go in. And that's worth it. <laughs> and we don't get the little goodie bags that they give you, or do we? Uh, yeah, it's the you get the standard everything with the standard badge. You get a goodie bag with crap in it. Um, but oh, yeah, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm so stoked. I'm excited to see uh, if any of you guys are gonna be there. I'm gonna be I'm super stoked. Um, I'm gonna make a video about maybe a week prior um and i'm gonna go over some stuff that we're gonna do there um if you guys see us um we'll we'll do some videos but if you guys walk up see us find us i'm gonna be giving away i told jack i've got quite a few uh, things to give away so I got a are there whole, any new whole thing of new stuff announcements? to give away Star Wars has still been pretty slow lately. Um, I see new people, but people I don't recognize. Like, I don't know who Tim Rosin is. Here, I'm going to pull this up, too. Somebody played Jim Gordon in Batman. Mm -hmm. This guy did Doc Holliday. So, I, I don't recognize a lot of these people are not. Um... Oh, she, you know, she did. She did the bat, and I just watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. She did the bat, and she did something with the with that vampire oh, the new TV one, show, the brand new one. Hmm. So did the vampire TV show? What's it called? Uh, what we do in the shadows? That's a Got hilarious. A that. Hilarious show. They did announce the guy who did uh, Moral Oral, uh, and also his Darburns on Community. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He's cool. Yeah. So I mean, some of the biggest stuff here going on. I guess we can talk about uh, first off the the writer strike that finally ended, um, mm. and my biggest issue so far with that has been the the day that that writer strike ended. The like within the next seven hours, Marvel posted everything. I mean, we got everything, but we got what four trailers, seven announcements, yeah. and we got this much of Star Wars. Well, we they announced a lot of it before they went on the strike. Well, they announced a lot of Marvel before that, but like we're we're just waiting to hear a bunch of this stuff, and we we've got nothing, which which really surprises What's next? me. Uh, well, you have either Skeleton Crew, um, Tears, uh, Tales of the Jedi Two, Bad Batch. Um, we can we need to know what happened with Lando with the movie and all of that. I think it's a yeah. It went from a TV show now it's a movie. So mm -hmm. I saw. Word of delay on those. Word of delay on um, Skeleton Crew is getting delayed. Um, Star Wars Hunters is getting delayed. Stuff like that. Yes, I, I have no idea what's going on with Star Wars Hunters. That uh, that completely eludes me on what's going on with that game. Um, is that I, the I was, game that's like out in Europe? It was out on, on mobile. So for Switch and phone. Like, what the heck? And now it's, it's not going worldwide yet. Makes no sense. A mountain man says, "Writers and actors strike are now both over." Yep, they are both over. Um, yeah, I saw some of the actors for Ahsoka go. Oh yeah, I'm this guy in this show that's been out for like weeks. Yeah, yeah. It uh, it's a unique thing going on. It's weird that that was going on, and um, I think there was there was other strikes in the world happening as well. Um. But that's the one we're gonna focus on. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just glad that it's it's finally over, and we might get some announcements, something. Um, so out of the things we said, we had, what did we have that I announced? Let's have some fun here. Uh, Star Wars holiday special documentary announces release date. Oh well, also guys, happy day after Life Day. I hope you all had a great Life Day. I hope you all, oh. um, you know, sat down and watched the holiday special. If you can. Is it on Disney Plus? It is. Yeah. Yep. Disney put it on there. Let's go. Let's They're doing a documentary, though. They're putting it in theaters, apparently. Oh, boy. For that movie? 
It's called A Disturbance in the Force, and it's a documentary about the holiday special. Guys, we need to watch this live. We need to do a watch party. It's in select theaters, so it's probably like the Ahsoka show where it's only in certain theaters. But uh, they're also doing Blu-ray DVD December 5th. Oh, yeah? Gotta get your steel book of this. It's called Disturbance in the Forest. Gotta get it. Yeah. I think that might be interesting. It's a, it was a trailer for it, too. Dang. Looks like somebody didn't have it, a nice life day. I'm sorry whoever did not have a good life day, whether that was Jack or not. <laughs> I don't know. Doing I said polls. yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Boom. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I was working, so not a good life day. Oh. You just wear your, your big Chewbacca robe or whatever he was wearing, and you'd be like, is my garbs for the holiday. Sir. So I will say I will Can't be prepared. Can't tell me. I wanted to do a stream yesterday for Life Day, but had to work as a Friday. So next year, maybe I did end up purchasing a Life Day robe. So I did buy that. They were on sale on Shop Disney again. So I snatched yeah. one up this year. If you want to watch, if you want to watch the trailer, I can link it for you for the uh, documentary. It's only a minute thirty nine. Yeah, well, I'll I'll watch it later. You send it to me though. I don't want to forget. Put it in the Discord. Yeah, well, gotta watch a Honda ad first. Oh, man. So, I think what we'll do, since it's been a while, um, I have too much to show on stream that I've got recently. Um, so, I think I may do, like, just a short little video on that. Just recent pickups. Um, but I'm going to show some of the stuff I've got today. Jack, do you have, do you have anything to show? Nothing? I do not. I have not been in town or buying stuff lately. Show off, uh, show off that chopper one more time. Look at yeah, look at that. Lights up. Whoa! It makes noise, but it, his mic won't pick it up. All right. Because Discord doesn't, it, it filters out that extra background noise, which is probably for the best. Yeah. So, the first pickup I got. All right. All right, was. Clone Wars Phase 1 Clean Clone Trooper. Clone Trooper. And then I got Clone Trooper. Clone Trooper. Do it in chat, guys. Yeah, another. And then we got, put it in chat. Clone Trooper. Clone Trooper. And then we got Clone Trooper. I have what two more are on these? the way. Two more. They're not a Legion. They're just all shiny. Oh, just you just Standard. army building it? Yeah. That's the one to do anyway, just the all clear. The deep all clear. And then today, actually. Well, we'll do this too. I got this last night. Super excited. Haven't opened it yet. Uh, well, that's a lie. I opened it, but I'm keeping them in the box. Um, Lied to me. Booyah. It is a retro uh, Return of the Jedi uh, set. Comes with Yak Face. And as you see the second boy there, Admiral Akbar. And I did uh, take it open. All of these are unpunched. So I got lucky with that. I feel like that's how it's supposed to be. That's how they're doing some of these Good. places now. Good. Got the whole squad. Yes, I did. And then these I got today. Um, so. Let's see here. I got. Merrick. These are brand new. I got oh, Hu Yang in the Black Series. Hu Yang, look, I like that. What what's the accessories does he have there with him? So he has his backpack with his extra arms, some of the training lightsabers, which is kind of neat, mm. and it looks like a scanner, just a generic Star Wars scanner. You know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah, yeah. And then we've got. One of my most anticipated, long-awaited figures for Pre Vizsla. I am stoked about this figure. This is a Clone Wars figure I've waited for a very long time for. Comes with this helmet, head, uh, his jet, his jetpacks up there in the corner, the dark saber. He comes with it all. I am about ready to crack this thing open. Um, did you show Jack the thing I got you that I pulled out of my trunk? No, I haven't yet. 
I'm I'm gonna have to do a video on that one. Uh, he he got me like the the um, what do you want to call it? The kiosk for Jedi <laughs> Fallen Order, like the huge cardboard kiosk thing. And you get that? You steal that from GameStop? Ah, uh, ran out of the door. We don't with know it. that. We don't know that. But I know this. I don't know where else you get one of those. <laughs> I am I am beyond excited for, and I really want to put this up on a flight stand because i want to have him like fly down with the pistols pointing down because he does come with the mandalorian pistols um but that's always a hard thing to do is um you know have flying characters aimed like that on flight stands and stuff that's that's always a Mm. difficult thing to have so guys whether it's you know star wars the black series or G.I. Joe, or, I mean, some even, like, smaller Transformers, to be honest. Um, I mm. highly recommend you check these guys out. Let me get a link here. Put it in chat. I just may uh, put this video out about an hour ago. Um, I highly recommend you check it out. It's basically got the new... Uh, review that I did Has this ever happened to you? on um, sta- like uh, stands this company called Elevate uh, Ele- Elevate Figure Displays super cool guys actually um, I reached out to them and um, they said well basically so I mean a little bit about how I found them I was on Instagram and I'd never heard of this company never seen the company before and I was like well it could be sketchy they're brand new I went to their mm. website. Product looked really cool. Looked really, really cool. And um, I messaged them. And they got right back with me. I was super, super like, like within an hour, they got back with me and said, nice. hey, uh, what can we do for you? And I said, hey, you know, I'm on this channel. I would love to review your product, see what it's like. And uh, they said that, unfortunately, we're not looking for, like, affiliate right now. Um, they've actually gotten so many orders they really can't keep up with, which is awesome for those guys. Um, and I said, that's fine. Keep us in mind. And then like a few hours later, they said, well, you know, we don't want to do like affiliate where we just send it to you, but we'll, we'll help you out. Um, if you help us out and, you know, do a review and they, excuse me, and they, um, send it to me at a discount, pretty discounted price to do a review. And I got the hiccups. They sent it to me at a really good uh, discounted price. And I picked up a couple. Um, and I can say without a doubt, these are my favorite stands that I own. Uh, hands hands down. Like I said, I don't think Jack's watched the video yet. Because I was working you on just it. just uploaded not, it. I just uploaded it. I showed you one scene from that. Yeah, the jetpack. The, the, like, yeah, uh, the Lego the sound effects. Jetpack sound. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, fun little hard, video. There's a little, down. there's a couple tutorials in there. Uh, the flight arm has some assembly, but it's super easy. But I just did like a little mm-hmm. twenty second tutorial on that in there. So I highly recommend you guys check those out. Um, you know, it always helps us out if you check those out. If you join the Discord, uh, we've we've got all kinds of stuff with uh with affiliate. So so yeah, Jack. What'd you think of my black series haul? Quite the, quite a lot this it's time. The same guy. Saw off strong triple. The Hugh Yang is pretty cool. Literally the, the same. The Hugh guy. Yang is pretty neat. I will oh, yeah, say Hugh that. Oh yeah, cool. That. That's probably on like a. That's probably on the GameStop though. I can probably find that in the shelf right now. Maybe I went to mine well, yesterday. Well. I went to mine yesterday and didn't see him. Um. Oh. They did well with these sucker figures. They're they're not bad. I don't know where it's at. I'm glad I said that. I was actually at GameStop yesterday. I got the Grievous. I posted that in the Discord. Um, it's sitting somewhere around here. But I got the brand new battle. Da- Whoa! Got the brand new battle mm. damaged Grievous. So, pretty cool. Pretty mm. cool. Wow. But yeah, we've we've been like I said. I worked on that ad. Well, honestly, it was just a review. I I had a blast with the item. Um, and I, I I like you know disclaimer. I love Star Wars. I love that kind of stuff. Um, 
if I don't like something, I will crap on it pretty pretty honestly. Don't um, swear and in my Christian server. <laughs> what's really cool about those stands is the flight arm comes with a screwdriver to tighten the arm if your figure weighs more. Which is like that's that's pretty cool. So so it's it's a uh, better. It won't like weigh down and tip. So there's a mm. lot of really cool options with them that you guys can check out. Um, but I've been working on that. Um, like I said, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, the Amazon um, helmet, a little escapade I went on, uh, ended up I didn't get the Grievous. Ryan, you're slacking. You need to buy them all. You just need to get into Star Wars Black Series and buy them all. You need to get 20 of these guys. Um, I don't know if you need 20 of those. <laughs> but yeah, the... Um, um, oh, crap. I lost my train of thought. Oh, the, the Amazon videos. The helmet videos I've been doing. Uh, those have been a blast from Xcoser. Um, Surprisingly good quality for uh, You are. know, at first, the series... Like I said, I'm honest about the stuff. The series started out uh, intended as... And I told Jack this. That series intended as... I am <laughs> wasting $60 on what could be the dumbest, crappiest helmet I've ever seen. And that, that's what the whole thing was, remember? That's what the whole yeah, gimmick yeah. was. And I bought the first one, the Commander Fox helmet, and I was like, oh, there's no way. And it turned out to be one of like the, the coolest, uh, decent quality helmets for the price um, that mm. I got. And then I ended up buying multiple. Um, I now own... Four X Coaster helmets. I own Wrecker, which was the last review. Check it out if you haven't. Um, and then, um, what happened here? I was a uh, Commander Fox was first. Mm. Then I can't believe I forgot what I have already. Fox, mm, you. Wrecker. I, bro, I forget. I have mm -hmm. it on Instagram. Hold on. Um, wow. Thank you. Uh, Fox, Wrecker, and the um, Arc Trooper. The Arc Trooper. Okay. So I have those, and they do some in Clone War style, some in uh, live action style, which is really cool. Um, I have another one. The review is coming out this Tuesday, but I'm not going to say what it is because that was part of the last video, the record video. I got both those packages together, and I still want that to be a, um, a guessing game to guess what the next mm. helmet was. So make sure if you haven't go to the... Um, the Wrecker video, right here, and I uh, put that in chat. If you guys haven't watched the Wrecker video, make sure to give it a watch later. Uh, it's really cool quality helmet. Wrecker's a great dude, you know, big Wrecker. And um, comment what you think the next helmet will be. Um, but um, besides those videos, I did the probe droid. The probe droid video is doing really good. Uh, lots of comments, lots of views. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a really, really cool item. Not too many people have done a review on that. I think, not to toot my own horn, but I think mm. I genuinely was the first or second person on YouTube to have a video of that thing up, which was pretty mm. neat. I think that's why it did so well. Um, but besides those, I mean, that uh, that's my videos. Jack has been putting out uh, some like video essays, thoughts and feelings mm. on stuff. He's still doing Thrawn series. Um, you have one left, that right? One is, uh, yeah, I have one left. He's My next video is not going to be a Thrawn one uh, as far as I have a plan right now, but it's still, I want to finish the series. Uh, I'm planning on probably doing a Battlefront 2, but I did do I, I did the Ahsoka video. I put a lot of effort into that one. Uh, I did probably too much time I spent on effects. I uh, just trying to see like what my what my program had. So I did like this little... You don't know how long it took me. To, you know, like the little thing that bounces, like with your audio as you speak and your part. Oh yeah. 
that took forever oh my god my computer doesn't have a built-in program for that so i had to find a place to go get it and i like i really had that idea and i wanted to do it but uh i spent a bunch of time on the ahsoka video that's his ahsoka uh, video in chat if you haven't seen it yeah check that it's just a review talking about that slash kind of the whole mandoverse and like well i think they could do a bit better still a good series though yeah. uh and then i probably plan on doing a battlefront 2 2005 video the old og one uh, cause man, we keep playing that game in 2023 and that game's almost two decades old now. It's good. We're still, we're still playing it. So like there's something about that game that's good, worth talking about. And we still play like, like straight up vanilla. Like sometimes we get ads, sometimes um, mods and stuff. Mods. Yeah. I put ads in mine. I put like Mountain Dew sponsorships. Like yeah, gotta some, get that money somehow. Sometimes we, we play modded, but honestly we didn't just have a blast playing the standard game. So yeah yeah Yeah. it's a good i learned things like um you know at some point like last year i figured out oh this year i figured out like the more points you have you the other team loses people for it i didn't know you can block with like you didn't know that button i didn't know that it's not based on every kill i well it is based on a lot of kills i I just oh yeah but not uh, getting the kills and then uh, i you can block with like f and stuff to block the stupid force push that is endless he didn't know you literally endless That game is so cheesy. You can just force push somebody into a corner, and then you just you win that fight. If you force push, you gotta like hide and do it. It's so stupid. Uh, but there's parts of that game that do we're still learning. Like still figure it out. Like uh, you can defuse a bomb with the diffuser as like the engineer. Like those mine landmines. Like that we didn't know. So we went into like a lobby of random people. Yeah, people putting them on the fronts of tanks, or running them into people. <laughs> Uh, but then people would like start diffusing with their thing as an engineer. I'm like, you can do that? I had no idea you could even do that for the longest time, bro. I don't know how many years. I did not know. So it's a cool game. That's my next plan. I'm hoping to do more of a series like 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 talking about video games in a retrospective kind of like that. Um, that's probably something I'll probably do more of for uh, for Star Wars and non-Star Wars stuff too. So check out my other channel if you guys want to see non-Star Wars stuff. Yeah. So um, while we're going to continue on, I thought it would be fun because we got some people here in chat. Um, I just put up a Q&A. So if you guys have any questions to ask us about like uh, any reviews that you've seen or uh, what you guys think would be, what are we working on for the future, uh, any ideas or anything like that, just drop something in the Q and A section of the chat, and then we will get to that in a in a little bit. Out of so one hundred, it's free. Jack, Jack's over there going, oh, pushing a hundred, putting in look at confetti. Ooh, it's not just that. it's not just me. It's not just me. Somebody else. I'm doing the one hundred. So that's on me. So don't forget, you got that Q and A. You guys can ask us questions. And uh, we'll probably go through those at the end of the stream, if there are any. If not, that's whatever, yeah. but we'll go through Su- them. Suggest something. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is a very uh, kind of impromptu episode. Normally, Jack and I do a little script, but it's been so long. I think it would be fun just for us to hop on, talk again. It's everything. also not too much, you know, with the strike and all that. It's a lot of no talk on shows. Yes. But uh, still, some good Star Wars content is out there. I might look at mods, too. Ooh, Battlefront 2 mods are fun. I might have to start playing some, replaying some old games with mods or replay some old Star Wars games. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of good so, ones. Yeah, there's a lot out there. Also, Spotify came out with... Um, so if you have Spotify Premium, you buy... So they increased the price, like, a couple months ago. But now Spotify Premium has audiobooks. And there's a bunch of Star Wars books for there included. Oh, is that right? That's something that came out, yeah. So they dropped that. And there's also, so yeah, there's, there's a bunch of books. The so Thrawn books, I think, are on there. Shatterpoint and a whole bunch of other stuff is on there. So if you have Spotify Premium, like, already, boom, free stuff. There's, like, a limit, though, like, how many hours you can listen to in a month, like, 15 or something like that, 15 hours, which is a lot, to be fair, but uh, kind yeah. of annoying. Hmm listen to a lot but that happened and i think uh i saw i think i saw a star wars collab let me look it up yeah 
Um, I think a uh, sport esports team did it. Cool. You know Team Liquid? Yeah, that's what Hbox. Yeah, they they did a Star Wars collab. What? Yeah, yeah, look it up. It's uh, Team Liquid Star Wars. It's on their website. I don't think it's too Team Liquid themed, but it's just like Star Wars merch that's, is on there. That's sick. It's just a shirt that says Star Wars and that's it. So That is so sick. Cargo pants with the Rebel symbol on it. and uh, There's some stuff you might like on there. Is it like uh, jerseys? Um, So it's a Team Liquid. Uh, there's, a, there's sweaters. Uh, there's a smuggler jacket. Uh, an Empire cloak is on there. It looks kind of cool. Some like Empire, like uh, Endor theme stuff is yeah. on there. Some like the little camo that they wear. Uh, yeah, there is a jersey. There's a Team Liquid Imperial jersey. Is it cool? Uh, yeah, it's actually really cool. How much? Look it up. Send me the uh, link. Send it to me in Discord. 80, Eighty-five dollars. I'm gonna send you Sweet. the link. I think I'm gonna order that right now, guys. I'm gonna say you don't even know what it looks like yet. You said it was $80. So show that in stream if you can. It's pretty cool. Let's see here. They got a Star Wars bucket hat that's just like stars. Kind of cool. Bro said bucket hats were cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look at the whole store as a whole. That they got some good stuff. So I saw that on like uh I don't know, I can't remember where I saw it in advertisement somewhere and I'm like, good Team Liquid doing a collab of Star Wars. It's pretty cool. That is such a yeah, that's a really random collab, but uh they did some really neat stuff. I feel like some of this though is from do you know the uh Heroes and Villains people? I think some of this is from there. Oh really? If it, it feels like the same it feels like the same kind of merch, but it might not be. Maybe they teamed up with them to help do it. I don't know. Anyway, but it's it's some cool stuff on there. So that's the main Star Wars stuff I've been seeing is minor things like collabs and uh, stuff. All right, that's a pretty sick jersey. I pulled it up on my phone. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you see that Team Liquid logo on the back with the arrow bash? Oh. Yeah, it says Team Liquid on it. That's too, pretty clean. Kind of... That's pretty clean, dude. Yeah. Um, wow, that is pretty clean. Um. Also, you not like, some of the other stuff. we're speaking kind of like on collaborations. Not exactly a collaboration, but, you know, um, we're starting off as like a Star Wars YouTube channel and um, always appreciate, you know, other other channels and stuff like that. You know, there's a couple of times we've had some uh, shout outs out in live streams and stuff like that. I'm going to put his channel in chat here. Uh, General Kenobi's Bunker. The dude is super nice. I love the guy's content. I stop in his streams all the time. Some of the streams I hop in, he does not even English streams. I just want to go out there and support my guy. Um, you Spanish speakers, he's got it. Yep, he um, Isn't it's just he an all Spain? around nice Star Wars uh, YouTuber. Uh, he just got, I don't know if it was partnered, but sponsored by um, oh, I can't think of that company. But uh, he's got some merch, some stuff like that. So definitely go out there and uh, give the guy some support. I actually just uh, was on the last live stream for his 1,500 subscriber special. And uh, con congrats to General Kenobi for, for 1,500. Um, nice. he, uh, he's been doing it for a year or two now. So that's awesome. You mean 1,500 or 15,000? 1,500. Um, and, um, yeah, you know, congrats to, to my guy, General Kenobi's bunker. I'm, I'm excited for him. And, yeah. uh, during that stream that he did some deal with free shipping on his merch and he said it would come with something special. Didn't say what it was. Hmm. So I bought one and I'm going to wear it in my next live stream. I'm going to wear my General Kenobi's bunker shirt. If it's here by then, it might not be, it might come in nice. December. Be on a stream what's that it'll be on a stream yeah 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 point. for sure for sure gotta represent gotta represent all our other guys out there doing this so yeah for sure him and there's a, a couple others i've stopped in but but yeah definitely check out general kenobi's bunker for sure it's a really good guy nice. really fun to watch does toy hunts toy reviews mostly star wars but 
Uh, he was just doing one on gargoyles, which is pretty cool. They actually were some really... I'm not a gargoyles fan, but the figures themselves look super, super cool. So definitely check him out. Um, and yeah, he did some reviews on toy shows. He was doing um, watch parties with Ahsoka. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely check him out. Definitely check him out. So, what else you got for us, Jack? Well, I have for now. Again, it's a little slow right now, but we'll we'll cover stuff as they happen. Mm -hmm. I'll be working on we'll be working on our videos and stuff that we got going. Yep. Um, like I said, expect that um, new X Coaster helmet video to drop on Tuesday. Go to the Wrecker video and comment what you think it's gonna be. Um, and, um, yeah, that, and then, like I said, today drops, uh, yeah, well, yesterday I dropped the third part of the Black Series, um, mm -hmm. the History of the Black Series, so definitely check that one out, that series has been doing fantastic, you know, a couple of view, a couple hundred views on the others, and the first one is still getting views, it's at, like, 4,200 views, so I appreciate everyone for that, um, and then the one that dropped today was the um, elevate your or elevate figure displays review on that. They that sent cool. me. Well, I, I did watch a little of that. That is a good one. I did actually. I remember now seeing the the figures. I thought those look pretty cool. Don't they just like put them like on a little shelf there for you? It's pretty cool. It's pretty. I cool. need one of those. Definitely some of my figures could use some. Yeah, some of my figures could use a little bit of a bump in the back there, so I could have like layers of it. It is. It is nice that they're they're in different uh, heights and everything. So yeah, it is nice. Let's go ahead. I think we're getting down to the the end of the stream here. Got a comment I was, the, I, I was testing it. I was testing it to make sure this is how this works. So I commented in there, but oh look at all those hearts I'm getting. <laughs> I think this is um, all live chat section too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I see it. So again, if anyone has any questions. Drop them in the Q and A part, but um, that would be fun. Jack, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? One through nine, Solo and Rogue One. Nine. And the Clone Wars movie. Genuinely, what is it? I gave you my answer. All right, everybody. Just remember, Jack is the one whoa, for whoa, liking whoa, episode whoa. nine. So. You know it's three. You know you already know it's is, three. Is or if I have to, nine Rogue One. Oh, is it really Rogue One? It's it's, it's between tied those? with Rogue. It's between those. Yeah, Rogue One is just Rogue One's a good one. The yeah. visuals, everything, the, the it kind of explains the Death Star, but Episode Three is really good too. Hmm. I didn't know that. Hmm. Hmm. You got Mom. the big British robot in that one. Big Brit robot. Um. I uh, definitely Episode Three. <sighs> I'm a I'm a pretty big fan of Empire, but Episode Three, Rogue One, and Empire. Those those are my uh, Revenge There's of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith is my favorite, but I think I think it goes Revenge of the Sith, Empire, Rogue One, and the only reason it goes in that order, the only reason I like. Empire more than Rogue One is because I I've said it a million times and I always will. I think Rogue One is super boring in the beginning. Not a lot happens. I, I and the, that, but yeah. the last the last half an hour is so amazing. It it skips the rest on the list. But Empire is great all the way through for me. There's only a, whenever it's boring, it's only boring for 5 minutes. But for Rogue One, it was the first hour for me personally, in my opinion. But at the end of the movie, basically when they come out of hyperspace in front of Scarif and everything after that, it's the oh, coolest, yeah. most fun. Uh, it it's is great. It's great. It is a move to kill all your characters at the end of the movie. That is a move. You guys ready to test Jack? I'm going to put something in the Q&A. Green guy. That's your favorite character. No. No, 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 no. I'm going right. back and change your profile. I'm going to change the profile picture for you. Is that you wouldn't dare? Can't 
to stop me. Why does it do that every time I click on that? Ask a question. Every freaking time, dude. Let's see if he gets it, chat. Let's see if Jack gets this right. Putting this in the Q&A or where? Yeah, I'm going to put it in the Q&A. See if Jack gets this right, guys. 100. All right. It's in. Go ahead and read it out loud, Jack, and look straight at the camera afterwards so we know you're not typing. So, What ahead. is your favorite Star Wars movie? No, it's not that one. It's the only one I see right now. Let it load. Let him cook. Let him cook. Should be there now. Harris and Dula. Incorrect. That's the only person I would know. I don't know the names Bro. of people. So and, and read the question. Ships. Read the question. Read the question. What is the X Wings leader's name during Scarif? Yeah, during the assault on Scarif, Jack. It's pretty obvious who the um, X Wing pilot's name was in that. Um, he even has a Black Series figure and a vintage collection figure that comes with his X Wing. Uh, he's looking it up. <laughs> he was yeah. looking at me. Now look at me. Plan. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. He was in the awful second. You're still looking it up. <laughs> um, he I was, still can't find he it. Was a no way to be found. He was a Target exclusive Black Series that released and talk Gale Merrick. And talk Merrick. Yes. Oh, he has a Micro Squadron too. Yeah, he does. He's a Chase, right? Yeah, yeah he's a rarer one. You have that one. No, I have uh, Poe Dameron's Chase. Oh, where that one's also blue. The blue. Though. They're both blue. I thought about yeah, picking and talk Merrick's up. The, that's the, why I think it's a lame one, the Poe Dameron's. That's why I said if you want it, we'll figure out a trade for it. Because it's just I like the orange one and black one better. It's more unique. Uh, yeah, ten more of those buddies, and we're on the right track. Ten more at least. Ten more. That's that's almost half. That's almost half my army. It's almost half, bro. Oh, too bad. It's almost half. I think we should bring this guy on stream. We haven't brought him on stream ever. I think we should bring him on. That's no droid. Making this noises. is a droid. Oh, Tell what me about if you can the hear other him. one that you had? Tell me what are my orders? I'm sorry, Kinda. It's not picking it up super well because uh but when I speak he's kinda talking, you can hear it too, right? I, I, yeah, but you kinda talk over him, that's the problem. Yeah, this is Roger. He's in his popping a squat pose right now. This is my little my little teammate. Yo. What's the other guy you had? I forget who it was. I got the seeker droid. I'm gonna call him Seeks, like Zeke. Hey. He makes noises and he's gonna replace me, right? right, 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 right. Tell everybody how you how you mistreat me in the background. You're gonna get canceled. I cannot confirm from nor deny. All I know is that seeks the seeker droid. It's fantastic because when you hit the button, he sings the Burger King Whopper song. Because <laughs> he made him do that. Yeah, we what hear him. Like? What do you have to do to that? Like sing it and then he'll play it back to you or something like yeah, that? Yeah, you can hit record file. and then and tap it off and he'll start singing it. It's hilarious. It's like great. that's just like a really stupid like toy idea that's been around forever, but just putting a secret for it. Well, because that's what he does in the movie or the in Rebels. He, re he yeah, records yeah. stuff and yeah, he says Burger King Whopper. I he goes Whopper part. Whopper Junior Double. Yeah, I remember yeah. that from the show. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I have him saying that. I have him say I have him saying quite a few things, but um, yeah, boop, boop. you can't say that. <laughs> One hundred um, embarrassment phase. He's going through his embarrassment phase. Is that what you said? I said embarrassment phase because I did a little emoji in chat because I'm embarrassed, bro. I think it's cool though the the secret joy. I think I've it seen is it cool. I just wish from, it came um, to the stand. That's from Disney, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Shop Disney. Yeah, they do a lot of droids now. They have been. They do. As soon as that droids. battle droid popped out there, they do DJ Rex, the secret droid, and that. They're yeah, Disney. Disney like 
Maybe it's the parks, the sales are like kind of like they've been saying it's a bit low. They're trying so they're putting to putting them on uh, the website. Yeah, they're trying to get people to buy the merch on the website, which is a good idea because some people, not everybody, can afford three thousand some dollars for Disney. Uh, yeah. I mean, I am. Cause, you know, I'm a bigger fan than you. It's true. Also, yeah. True. You just said. It's true. true. Jack knew who Antoc Merrick was after ten minutes. I said I'm a bigger fan than you. Said true. I'm glad we agree. Same page. Yeah. What's his uh, name? I said I'm. What's who Antoc Merrick? Uh, the guy from Ahsoka. The one that the turned into Puff. And Antoc. Like, he went. Oh, the guy from Ahsoka. Merrick. Yep. You got it. Quick, what's wow. his clone's oh, name? Quick, what's his clone's name? <laughs> uh, Wrong. I can't even remember the guy's name who plays the clones. T. Bradley Baker? Yeah. Or Tamora no, Morrison? Yeah, that's Tamora Morrison, number three. <laughs> Dang it. Dude, I'm looking at Shop Disney right now. They got Life Day robes on the website official. I told you that's what I picked mine up. I bought mine yesterday. That's so dumb. Because <laughs> you miss Life Day, dummy. You have to wait. Well, so what was kind of stupid was they went live on the website on Life Day. They were not available before Life Day. So <laughs> Dude, oh my god. This picture of Ahsoka on the website is, like, really weird. Yeah? Yeah, so it's like, um, let me show you. It's like a PNG, just like the old Ahsoka from, like, Clone Wars Season 1 or 2. She's, like, bent forward with the sabers behind her back? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. No, That's no, the one they that. always it's use. It's the old, old so like with green yeah. one, one lightsaber green. Why, why that picture? Because it's Soka. Let's see what they got. They got Wicked Ewok. Oh my bucks. god, that's a that's half as big as the lady. <laughs> but look at how much size? it costs, and look at how that, bad. Yeah, it's I'm not trying to crap on them, but look at how bad the face and the eyes look. It's five hundred, dude. Is that life size? And the eyes look awful. What does it do? Is it just sits it there? sits there? It's a it stuffed a animal. A pretty bomb ass one to scare your friends with, just like you walk around a corner and just just e walk standing on your bed. <laughs> but glow in the dark marbles in his eyes, just black beady eyes. Yeah, don't blink. Destroyed right. Factory Advent Calendar. Oh my god, I got, I got some good stuff on here. Like yeah. DisneyShop.com has a really ugly. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, Ahsoka merch is a bit tough. Slapping her like orange logo and the stuff sometimes is a bit rough looking but the tumblr sometimes they do it right good. that one cork sickle tumbler i like i say that's one of the best looking cups there is sometimes they do the ahsoka stuff right sometimes just slapping her logos and colors all over it looks mm -hmm. a little weird uh qui-gon jinn hilt still on there uh Jedi they're on Temple sale Button they're on sale down. lightsabers on shop disney 20 bucks off right now 20 bucks off isn't like a great amount off. It's still like 150 bucks, but it's 140. For those looking to save money, 60. Basically, free yeah, shipping. Count Dooku, Kylo Ren, uh, a pin of C3PO Dooku. saying we're doomed. They have the Jedi Dooku on there from Tales of the Jedi. Now that would be a cool one to grab. I have I that, lie. and it's great. Count Dooku hilt. I don't know if this is the Jedi one. It might be. Get two Ewoks. Difference? And keep moving them around the house without telling him. <laughs> Do that to Jamie. You have, that's, <laughs> Get him in... that's a that's a thousand dollar plus commitment. That's not even including shipping, tax, and all that. That is a thousand dollar commitment. I got Jack, Ewoks no. are people, so I mean, that's... how many lightsabers can you buy for that? Like ten. Well, like, it depends like on the less, lightsaber. Like less than. Depends on the company. You can still buy yes, a can... lot for a thousand dollars than two yes. weird looking Ewoks. You I could buy get, like one core band lightsaber, or you could buy what is that? Uh, Do you know how many Watto statues I could buy for that price? Galaxy's Edge. I'm just gonna buy the Watto statue, the the Watto that like stands like flies in your room. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna buy that a couple times, and then that'll that'll do the trick. Watto's much uglier too. He does. He's he's the right right fit for me, man. Yeah. Mandalorian deluxe figure set for twenty two dollars. That doesn't seem deluxe. Not sure. That looks like a kid's toy thing. Not quite collectible. Erm. Visit Coruscant. Some slippers for little kids like me. The magic bands are cool though. I'll give you that. 
when I was looking at going to Disney, they didn't have like any Magic Bands for sale because of like COVID just hit and they didn't sell oh. any. So you, I had to buy some garbage like Avatar, the blue people one. I'm like, oh my god, that movie's not even good. The Nubby. Well, the ride was pretty good. I will give it credit, dude. They got some good rides though at Disney with the Star Wars stuff. The Star Tours, killer, killer. It's good. Stuff. That was one we almost skipped. It's good stuff. It is. And they have the actors coming back now, too, which I am cool with. Yeah. I've been seeing people going, like, the actors on, like, the, you know, by the shuttle, giving some real attitude to the people and the things. It was like uh, telling the Rebels that they're illiterate and stuff. I'm like, wow, he's going all in on the Rebels, bro. Hmm, the Rebels, illiterate, sounds about right. I'm like, damn, bro, this is some kids in the crowd you're telling them this to. <laughs> Showing them what for. I mean, he's probably right. There are some kids who are probably illiterate in that crowd. I mean, he's got a point. Rebel scum. Grogu shoes for babies. That looks so bad. Rebel scum. There's an orange shirt that just says Star Wars on it. Yeah. Interactive chopper for $100. <laughs> That's not bad looking. That's the one I have. The one I did the review on. Check out the review on the channel. Oh, the Ahsoka Tano tie looks pretty cool. It's just like a, it's like a very hidden Ahsoka like face. I've seen that the tie. Yeah, looks very like discreet, like low key, like a Star Wars. But you're not like, oh, look at me, I'm Mr. Star Wars guy over here. Exactly. Yeah. You're not going in the office like Cheryl from accounting. He's not like, oh, is that the Star Trek? Is that the Star Trek? My grandson loves that. Insert generic spaceship name. Was that the mm. Aluminum Falcon? My son has that for the Nintendo. <laughs> the Nintendo Entertainment Spaceship System from the future. Yeah. Gotta love the Boba Fett Halloween costume still for sale. Deep, deep discount, though. Buy yeah, it when you can, guys. That's about all they got on there now is those droids and a couple other things. That's about it. But hopefully... The Chewbacca Lego actually looks pretty good. They're dropping... Doesn't look um, amazing. Emperor bust. Oh my, that'd be a, quite an addition to my home. <laughs> Just the emperor in my hallway, like in a really like magnificent way, on like a marble pillar. Yeah. He would be fancy looking. Uh, speaking, we were talking lightsabers earlier. I am pretty ticked. My bad. It was an awful day yesterday. At, uh, I wouldn't say it was an awful day. It was just a very busy day at my work yesterday. Unfortunately. Mm. I was not able to secure that lightsaber. I was not able to get Stellan Gius's lightsaber, which sucks. Uh, Stellan Gius's lightsaber. It is this right here. Uh, maybe it's hard to see. It is. Uh, it's Knights of the Old Republic, um, or it's a high. It's oh, from yeah. the High Republic, but it's a broadsword lightsaber. It is huge, and it came in the special case. Like well, who's selling that? Shop Disney. It was like the Ahsoka Sabers. It was oh. limited one of 3,000. Oh, wow. Because yeah. they just they the... drop them randomly. They'll be like, oh, hey, uh, yeah. we're going to drop this in two days. And it's like, well, cool. I can't do anything about that with work. I tried to get it, and it sold out immediately. So it sold told out. Me. I could have looked. 3,000. I just honestly, I forgot. It went for a little more than I thought it was going to go for. I thought it was going to be like 280. Then it went for 325. Yeah, so. I'm not gonna lie. The only reason I got the Ahsoka one is because I bought it like a minute before like the clock turned and they were just open for me. I'm like, I'm buy it, okay. Like I was, it was just in. I was just like sitting on the shop before like they did the queues and all that. And it was like a couple minutes before. I'm just like, add to cart, purchase, done. And then they got yeah. like blown up and like the line was huge and like virtual line and all that. So I was pretty lucky to get through and get that one. They they are tough. I don't know how well they do against bots. Probably okay, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah, because now I'm actually curious. Let's let's do a little investigation here, shall we? Let's see what these are going for. Second hand already. Uh, where's it at here? So it ran for three twenty-five. What's your guess? Uh, you said it ran for three twenty twenty five. We mean like money. Yeah, like all the resellers already. 
Oh, that's about the reselling. Oh, then I'll say like it's high. Rep- it's it's High Republic, so it's not popular. Two fifty. Well, it sold for three twenty five. Uh, the it, resellers or the original? The original. Oh, I I thought you said that's what the resellers. Sorry, no. Before. Yeah, originally it sold I'd for three twenty five. I'd say four something. Four twenty. It's, it's going for about five five fifty. Ooh, that's more than like that's almost double. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Uh, there's one for four seventy five. Get it quick. Snap that bad boy up. And Unf- well, luckily, uh, you know, I'm holding out hope since this is High Republic, and no offense to those guys. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people do not care or like the High Republic books. So, yeah, I've never, I've um, never read or care. The only thing that is holding that saber up is it's really cool and unique design you cannot deny mm. this thing looks cool well, um, i'm sure the prices are high now people don't even people don't even have it yet and they have it up for sale right like here i'm gonna send you a picture of it so you can see it doing that always feels kind of scummy you know like he clearly bought it to mm. like resell it if you don't oh yeah have it. there's a picture of it on discord Ooh, that it's, is wide. It's pretty cool. It's a broadsword, you know? It's a helper. Does the whole... Th- I'm assuming the saber is only in the middle like normal. Yeah, it doesn't even come with a blade. Oh, I see the picture on the thing. So it, I guess that's what it normally looks like anyway. Yep. It doesn't come with a blade. I mean, it feels like you probably spend enough where it should come with a blade, right? Yeah. How much could that part even cost? 80. So it costs uh, 400 and... 400 some change. But uh, it does huh. have, like, Kylo Ren cross guards on it, if you look, if you zoom in. Um, they're really, really thin. Yeah, yeah, and they, cool. let, they have a little light on top. I saw that. That's the that's the unique part about it. Yeah, and then the box is, like, a weird double-latching door, so. Or do you it's think there's some good lightsabers that are not Shop Disney that I should get? Well, what's your price range? A thousand, because I'm not going to buy those two Ewoks. I mean, do core band savers. They run about seven eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I was kidding about that much. I don't know, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred bucks. Shop Disney Black Series. What about custom? When are you looking for just the hilts, or do you want blades with them? Because that'll matter. Uh, I'm curious, like what custom people are doing. I think I know Neo. Cust- well, Neo yeah, Neo Pixel, Pixel ones cost about four hundred. Yeah. Mine cost four fifty. Are some good. Like mid range, like three, like two to four hundred, five hundred. So you would, savers. so you would get Xeno Pixel. So that's not like really, really good. But the one that I have, so I have two. I have a, I have two Neo Pixel blades. I got one with four fonts on it with smooth swing, um, really simple design. That one was for four twenty, four fifty, and then I got one that was six fifty, and that one has a Profi board too. With a way better blade made specifically for that. See, Anakin's got some on here. But they're going to cost you a pretty penny. Yeah, these are all like $100. Not even that much. Oh, wait. There's some. Show me what you're looking at. Erm, can I? Here, share my screen. Oh, don't do that on Discord. Go back. Oh, I'm. There you go. Because I only have it set up on R2, so then it cuts them. <laughs> That's okay. Show the people. Oh, well, I'm looking at the... I'll, I'll link you the front page that I'm looking at here. Yeah, link me that, and we're going to do this. Uh, and then I'm looking at it, and it's just like a bunch of... These are the popular models. The most popular one says Combat Saber, $109. And it looks kind of like generic. Kind of want like a unique one. Like Anakin Saber is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, here's Obi Wan, Master Kenobi on the second page. You can get his in purple. Oh, Padawan Outpost. This is Padawan Outpost. Yeah. Well, I looked up Xeno Pixel and that's what came up. Yeah. Maybe I clicked on the wrong thing. You yeah, want no, Zeno. so you want Xeno Pixel or you get a get a Profi board? Xeno Pixel. Xeno Pixel. No, Xeno Pixel's the blade. Profi board is what it sounds like. What? Profi. How do you learn? P R O F F I E. Profi is the soundboard. That's what the most expensive thing on them always is. 
Coffee NeoPixel, is that what I should look up or you want NeoPixel. NeoPixel is the best. Xenopixel is like the second best. Okay, I'm on NeoPixel. Star Killer Saber, that's pretty cool. They are really Man, cool. Dark Saber's on there. They got Palpatine. And is this the good thing is these these don't sell out immediately. That's great. But yeah, they're about three, four hundred dollars. Dooku. Some of these oh. companies, you have to find them. Some of them sell empty kits. Like, they will just sell the hilt empty for cheap instead of having to buy all that extra stuff you don't want, which is nice. Hmm. So There's a I Lego have, version. I've seen that. They were big. It's <laughs> only 149 <laughs> Yeah, cool. Well, it's really easy to make. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny looking. Luke Skywalker, Revan. Who's OWK? Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh yeah, that is his. But it's purple, so I was like, huh. Black Friday sale they got going, huh? Oh, I didn't think about that. Black Friday deals. Yeah, some of these are thirty-seven percent off for Jade Storm and. Hmm. Let's see, Captain Troopers deep well, discounts. Maybe it's a good time to buy. Now we're kind of just going on a deep dive. We will, we will guys won't keep you for that, but. Um, I'll show you the saber that I get though. Yeah, yeah. Looks like he's going to pick one up. So, um, But yeah, I think that's where we'll end the stream here. It's been a little over an hour. So um, <laughs> we we appreciate you guys coming back, seeing us. And, yeah. Um, it's a little bit see of a wait, but we appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out Jack's new videos. New videos on the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Later.